Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus October 27, 2022. Events and circumstances clear the path for new beginnings, mainly related to how you fit in with friends and the community. With this eclipse occurring in your social sector, you become more acutely aware of your position in life within the context of the group rather than through self-centered focus. Goals that involve networking, making connections with others, joining or strengthening ties in a group project or activity, and nurturing goodwill are the focus during this cycle. Reflect on how you'd like to steer your life in the coming weeks, particularly concerning your place in the social side of your life. This period favors formulating goals that have to do with the future, long-term happiness, or a sense of mission or purpose, aligning yourself with important causes. This can be a crucial time for delegating, collaborating, or calling on a team slash help so that you have more time to focus on honing your craft or getting time for yourself. If existing friendships require a new focus or a renewed bond, then the energy of this eclipse can help. It's not a time for clarity but one of faith in the process. Keep in mind that eclipses can feel draining before they build you up. Expanding your social circle can grow your happiness and satisfaction due to an alignment of Venus with this eclipse. A better, more satisfying social life helps inject more fun and interest into your life in the months ahead. A tremendous new beginning is upon you. This is because of the glorious solar eclipse that is sizzling through the sky. A destined fresh start filled with new adventures awaits as this eclipse ignites your solar 11th house of friendships, communities, and online dating. Regardless if single or attached, a platonic soulmate could enter your life and change your path forever. If you are single, dating is also favored, so mingle amongst friends and you could also cross paths with someone who captivates you. Some people could even turn an acquaintance into a lover. Couples can revel in this gorgeous social vibe, so put fun and pleasure on the top of your list. Who or what will come through in your work life? You might be surprisingly social as the new moon partial solar eclipse in Scorpio opens up a six-month cycle of networking. New opportunities to meet professionals on and offline are guaranteed. Your social media platforms could also pop off in surprising ways. Everything that unfolds might even play upon different aspirations or dreams. Keep in mind that whatever happens is meant to be as this eclipse portal is destined to be transformative. However, allow nature to run its course and avoid setting intentions during the eclipse. Thanks to the moon's departure from your career sector yesterday your professional instincts are sharp at a pivotal point in the year across the income, work and career fronts. Three days after Saturn's direct turn in your income sector, with Mars just days away from turning retrograde in your work sector and from Mercury wrapping up all planetary activity on the career front for the year, there is a chance to pause. You are highly sensitive when it comes to friends and family, and today's transits exacerbate this emotional cord. Give yourself enough time each day to get a bit of exercise and to have healthy meals so that you are prepared to be there for those closest to you. You react very poorly to situations in which you are too pressed to give time to those you love. Time management can help you get what you need in every way. Today will be a day to put between parentheses, a kind of decompression chamber in which you can take stock. Take advantage of it, sort out things and remember. Try to see what still motivates you and what doesn't help you much in your life. In your sentimental life, get away from routine, look inside of yourself or get some air to avoid conflict. Everything will push you to run away from concessions at least for an instant. After the Sun and Venus left your career sector over the weekend and the Moon yesterday, Mercury is now the last planet standing and he too will be gone by the end of the week. While Mars is slowing down ahead of a retrograde turn that will keep him in your work sector until March and during that time he will work closely with Saturn in your income sector, in his final days Mercury is working to leave you with an overall sense of professional direction. Fortunately, thanks to the Moon your professional instincts are sharp and you are emotionally and intuitively engaged. 
As the Moon and Venus align in a social and serendipitous part of your chart this is putting heart and gut on the same page while they are both linked to the laws of attraction and synchronicity. On the heels of yesterday's eclipsing new moon, there is an element of fate in the air, with listening to your heart and gut leading to serendipitous moments or encounters. Our Eyes in the Sky Today is a unique day that asks everyone to really dive into their subconscious mind. With much of the day pointing toward our need to focus our energy on meditation, it's an important time for some much-needed self-care. If the news and media are getting to you emotionally, don't even look at the things that will upset you. This might mean turning off all social media, hiding the phone and stepping away from the computer for a period of true rest. The strong conjunction between the Sun and Moon in Fierce Scorpio is going to kick up a lot of stuff at once. This is a channeling aspect in the astrological world, especially as the solar path enhances the intuitive ability of your mind. It's the perfect day to write in your journal and dive into the intense self-help work that you need to move forward. It's a great time to discover hidden things about yourself that you haven't been able to connect to because of the state of the world. It doesn't mean that you don't care. Empaths and other extremely sensitive people are going to be even more clued into the vibrations of the community without even looking online. This is a good cry kind of energy. Some healing modalities include playing your favorite music, dancing, singing, taking a soothing bath and even just chilling out and regrouping in the evening. Just after midnight, the moon enters Scorpio, exiting its void of course which began yesterday afternoon. We are now just a few hours out from the Scorpio solar eclipse, making this an occasion for meditation, silence, and release. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and we might undertake this shedding process in our dreams, letting go of old projections and fears and aligning our intuitive compass. Over the next two days, we remain in this inquisitive lunar terrain, seeking deeper communion with our unconscious mind. Before dawn, the Scorpio new moon solar eclipse catalyzes changes to our psychological landscape. As with all eclipses, we are encouraged not to use this time for intention setting. The Sun and Moon's interaction with the lunar nodes prompts karmic events, allowing the universe to work its magic upon us. We should trust the process rather than try to control our fate. However, should we need a meditative prompt to ground ourselves in what is sure to be an energetically turbulent day, we can use the Sabian symbol for the first degree of Scorpio for reflection, tourists on a sightseeing bus. This image is food for thought. It posits the idea of being an observer moving past an observation. We are tourists of our own experience, curious as to the landscape moving by outside our window. We might also consider this Sabian symbol in terms of taking a glimpse into our past, as the luminary's conjunction with the lunar south node suggests that past behaviors, interactions, and conflicts may now consume our attention. If we can detach from the illusion that the past is present, and turn our focus to our future, we can avoid getting caught up in unconscious traps now. This eclipse is additionally aligned with Venus, emphasizing our relationships. We may be destined for run-ins with old romantic partners, friends, or colleagues. Or situations transpiring within our current relationships may be eerily reminiscent of prior engagements. We can be curious, like the tourist, about the lessons these people have to teach us, but avoid jumping to scorpionic conclusions. No need to exit the bus. Matters will become clearer over time. 